Hi everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. Today I will share with you four trash to treasure DIYs and it's a Christmas edition. So stay tuned for this. For my first DIY, I will use these paper rolls, different sizes, to make Christmas trees. I've been inspired by these snow-heavy, skinny trees that you find, at least north in Sweden. I don't know about any other places, but I will try to mimic these trees best I can. And for that, I am tearing apart my paper rolls like you see me do here and then just spiral them so they get a little bit like a cone but uh, a little higgledy piggledy shape form I will put some hot glue in the intersections to keep the structure in place and I will keep on building smaller ones on top until I'm happy with the result. This video is part of the Turn Trash Into Cash Challenge hosted by David at David Owen Creates. I will leave a link to his channel down in my description along with a link to the playlist of this challenge for more trash to treasure inspiration. My trees are a bit wobbly and I will make them stand up straight and not fall with this piece of cardboard I will just trace something round like that one for each tree and then cut them out hot glue one tree on each of those cardboard around Now I'll take some spackle and just put in the intersections there again. The first uh, coat of the spackle, set them to dry so they are not wobbly anymore so they can stand up on their own and not fall apart. The first coat has dried and now I'm putting on more spackle on the whole tree to create texture and I keep on working with the spackle until I'm happy with the result. I did make some holes in my trees because at first I was thinking about putting in some fairy lights or something to make them glow a little bit in the evening but in the end I did not use them for that so that's why you see me poking a little bit in the spackle. I let my trees dry overnight. Next day and I'm painting my trees in a white color. Only one coat needed. I still thought my trees were a bit not wobbly but thinking I have cats maybe they will just fall on the floor and break easily. So I took some leftover plywood and just traced around them to draw a more organic shape. And it looks like this once I have cut it out with my jigsaw. Before I attach my trees, I will put pads on the bottom of my plywood piece. Just to have that done, it's more tricky to do it afterwards. 
So I'm taking some wood glue and some hot glue and put my trees in place. Here I'm painting the base with a black satin color and I applied two coats. And I also put that black on that cardboard round like you see me do here just to make them melt into the base a little bit more. Last thing I will do is to take some dark green acrylic and put a shadows a little bit here and there to make them look more like tree branches. I just follow the texture of the spackle. You will see the final reveal once I made my second DIY because they are displayed together. For my second DIY, I will take this bottle of uh, soya sauce, now empty of course, and turn it into a gnome. First I will trace the bottom of that bottle onto a cardboard sheet and cut it out like that, because I don't want the glass to show. And then I will cover the glass in this leftover cardigan, <laughs> I guess it was. And just trace a little bit more than I need for that uh, cardboard piece. Hot glue it into place and then fold the excess on the back like you see me do here. But before I put it into place, I will make my Santa's feet and I will do that from this a little brown um, white uh, faux fur and just cutting small pieces like that and just fold them, hot glue them like that to make them look like um, tiny furry boots. And I do the same with the other one. And then I will hot glue them on top of my bottom piece like that. And then hot glue the whole thing onto my soya sauce bottle. And then I will take some more of the same leftover pieces of cardigan. Uh, this grey one here. I'm hot gluing it into place at the bottom of that bottle, like that, all the way around. And then when I know how much I need exactly, I will cut it to size and hot glue it onto that bottle completely. If you're new to my channel, hi, I am Marika and on this channel I do lots of DIYs, thrift flips, trash to treasure, decorating, renovation of my home, some pottery, some painting, anything creative really, please join me. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and join my YouTube family. I attach uh wooden half a bead as the nose of my gnome and then they, I take a piece of faux fur, a white one and cut it to size for his beard. A little triangle where his nose shall be to get a nice fit and then I hot glue that into place as well and uh, I trim the beard a little bit more because I want his boots to show and it was slightly too big there on the bottom. I 
my gnome is in need of a hat as well so I'm taking this a little bit darker piece that I have left over from another cardigan I cut out a rectangle like that and I will fold the bottom part twice to get a really nice finish and then I will put it right side to right side and glue it together and I do it in an angle like that because I want it more pointy but I will keep that left over and not cut it to size really because I want it to stand up so I need some more filling on the inside so I just left it there but it was not really enough because the first time I tried it on it drooped a little bit so I need to fill it with some polyfill as well at the very top because this will be a very tall hat. And when I'm happy, I just put it in place, put a dab of hot glue around his nose and a tiny bit on the back as well. The last thing to do is to cut tiny pieces of this faux fur to create his moustache tiny like that just a dab of hot glue and press them into place one on each side of course and he's done and let me show you how it turned out my little display here it is with my skinny snow covered trees and my gnome on the side there Tell me, what do you think of this trash to treasure? Is it sellable? You tell me, is it trash to cash? For my third DIY, I will use these food cans, those metal food cans, and to turn them into beautiful flower pots or something like that whatever you want to use them for so I take this fabric that I like and just tear it to size like that and then I will hot glue it into place I don't mind that it's a little bit fringy on the top there because that will be covered later. So I just glue it and then cut it to size and the end there I will fold it to get a very nice finish like that and glue it together. And on the bottom of the can, I will just fold it like you see me do here. It doesn't have to be perfect because that will be covered up as well. They look like this and now I will trace the can onto some cardboard paper like that and I will make four of them and you will know exactly why in a minute because I only have two cans. I will cut them slightly smaller than my tracing to get them to fit because I will have one on the bottom like that and one on the inside of the can later on. So I take some fabric that I've cut out already, slightly larger than the actual cardboard round and then I just hot glue it into place, folding it like you see me do here. And then I will hot glue it on the bottom of my can. Now do the same on the other one. I have this felt fabric that was once a blanket from Ikea 
and that I will use to cover the inside of my cans. So I will glue it together and fold it like you see me do here. And then I will put it into the can and then fold it over the edges. It, this was quite a snug fit, I tell you, but I managed to pull it over the edge like that and it will be a cute little cuff for my can. This piece of felt does not have um, a bottom. It was slightly too long, so I will cut it to size a little bit and fold it inside. And it doesn't matter how it looks on the very bottom because I will put that other cardboard around in there. So here they are looking pretty both inside and out. Time to embellish my cans and I do that with a ribbon so I take this beautiful burlap ribbon in green on one of them and on the other one I will put the same kind of ribbon but red just hot glue it into place and cut it to size on top of that beautiful ribbon I will put a lace ribbon as well. Same procedure here. I'm making some boats out of this uh, jute ribbon. Just fold it a couple of times and uh, attach it with some jute twine like that, a double knot, cut the excess and then just fluff it up and make it look pretty. I'll put this bow onto the can with the red ribbon, duct tape the ends like that. And as a final touch, I'd put on this wooden burgundy colored heart like that in the center of the bow. And now onto the green ribboned can. And here I will take this green ribbon and do the same procedure here make it into a cute little bow with the help of some jute twine fluff it up put it in place and put that wooden heart in the center of the bow Et voilà, my final result of my food cans. Filled with greenery of your choice. And you can easily just take some other fabric and use them all year around. And this is how they look inside. Beautiful as well. And on the bottom, very nice finish. So my question to you again, are they sellable? Do we have a trash to cash creation? Let me know in the comments. For my fourth and final DIY, I will make some ornament gnomes out of these paper rolls, some yarn that I had on hand and this cardigan, the piece of cardigan that I've used before today. First off, I will make tassels. I will make three gnomes so I need three tassels and I twist it around the book like 30-40 times depending on how thick your yarn is and I tie it together with a piece of jute twine like that and then I take another piece of jute twine and wrap it around again to create a tassel doesn't need to be the same color because that last piece of jute twine will not show. And then I will trim it like that. And I need a hat as well. And for that, I will use that toilet paper roll. So I take a piece of that cardigan, does not matter if it has those buttonholes because I will glue them together so it won't show. 
So I put that piece of cardigan through that piece of toilet paper roll and fold it and then hot glue it on the inside of that paper roll so I have sort of a cuff on his hat and then I glue those buttonholes shut. Look at that, looks like a hat already. And then I pull my tassel through and the top of the tassel will not show and on top of his hat I will just shut it with another piece of jute twine like that and the last thing I need to do I will create a hanger of that leftover twine from the tassel and then he needs a nose like that just hot glue it into place a little wooden bead and then I will trim that beard once again and I'll do the same with my other gnomes same process just pull it through and tighten that hat and this hat is a little too long so I will shorten it later on just trim off the excess that I don't need if you like this video and videos like this consider subscribing and hit that uh, like button as well it will help my channel to grow and I can spend more time creating inspirational content for you my aim is to upload one or two videos per week so hit that notification bell as well so you are notified every time I upload a new video My gnomes has to have moustaches as well, it was lacking something, so I just take some polyfill and twist it in the center like you see me do here and then I put a dot of hot glue under his nose and put that twisted part and in the hot glue and trim the moustache and they're ready to go. And here they are hanging in my kitchen looking pretty ready for Christmas. So tell me what you think of my creations today. Did you have a favorite? Let me know in the comments. But first let me know if you think these are sellable. Are they trash to cash creations? Now it's time to head on over to my description box and hit that link to the playlist of this challenge for more trash to treasure inspiration just click and enjoy thank you so very much for watching see you soon again in my next one until then take care bye